Good afternoon, everybody. Khan here with TechOut. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your Mac back to factory settings. This is especially helpful if you're going to be giving away your Mac, selling your Mac, or overall uh, transferring it to a new owner. Um, so this is going to detail how to fully erase uh, your disk, format your disk, and reinstall Mac OS. Um, not just reinstall Mac OS. You can do that without formatting your disk, but this is going to delete everything on your hard drive or your SSD or whatever you have, so you're going to want to make sure you have everything off of it before you begin this process. Um, if you need to back it up, go ahead and do that. If you need to save pictures, go ahead and do that because, like I said, this is going to delete everything. So first off, what we're going to want to do is format the disk. So to do that, we're going to boot up into Mac OS Utilities. Sorry, the screen's kind of hard to see. I have to record this with a camera. I can't screen capture it, obviously, because I'm erasing the disk. Um, so we're going to boot into Mac OS Utilities. You're going to hit the power button and then hold Command R um, until you see the loading bar come up, then you can let go, and you should get a screen that looks like this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Disk Utility and click Continue. That's going to open up Disk Utility right here. Um, and we're going to go up here to the internal disk, which on mine is labeled Macintosh HD. Um, so you should see something similar on yours. And then we're going to go ahead and hit erase up here on the top. So that is going to rename it Macintosh HD, which is the default, and it's going to put it back in Apple File System, which is what we want. So since we're booted into Disk Utility in Recovery, it will allow us to erase the disk. So it's going to erase the disk, and then after that is done, I will come back and show you what we need to do to get it reinstalled with an operating system. Okay, so you can see here we have a green check mark. Everything completed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and click done. As you can see here, we have 250 gig, uh, gigabytes free, and this is the 256 gigabyte MacBook Pro. So we are good there. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reinstall Mac OS because obviously we just formatted the drive, so there's no operating system on it. So we're going to go ahead and cl click continue and it's going to walk us through the process. I did go ahead and sign out of iCloud on the Mac. Um, if you leave it signed into iCloud, it will ask for your Apple ID and password when you reinstall everything, so you're going to want to make sure you turn that off because if not, the new owner won't be able to set it back up. So now it is downloading macOS High Sierra, which is the current version of macOS at the time of this recording. Um, so that download is going to take about 8 minutes to complete, and once that's done, I'll come back and show you what is left in the process. Okay, so the update, or not the update, the install has finished. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the basic setup here, just because this is going to be traded in. So there's no need to leave it at the setup screen, and there's no need to set it up seriously anyway, because they're going to do a format on it before anything gets done. This is, by the way, going to the trade-in partner that Apple uses that is on the Apple website. Um, so I'm just going to use a default owner name. Oops, let's see. Apparently you have to have a password, um, but I'll just delete that later. So it's going to go ahead and create the account. And after that, it's pretty much set up. That's all I'm going to do for setting it up for trade-in. Um, express setup, sure, doesn't matter. But that is that, setting up your Mac, and we're good to go. So that's how you can get your Mac ready for a trade-in or sale. This has been Connor with TechOut. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.